What is up, my veggies? My name is VTR, and welcome back to another um, movie review. And today, we're going to be reviewing a very interesting movie. That, and I decided, since I am behind on doing Halloween stuff for the month of October, and I don't intend to do uh, VTR's Creepy Frights in, this year, um... As you guys know, that's been my Halloween tradition for the past two years. Um, but this year, I don't think we're going to do it because of the fact that all my different types of content are spread out throughout different... But I do still want to do Halloween-related videos. So, today we're going to be reviewing a movie. And this is a movie I don't think I've ever sat down and fully watched until now. Even though I was, I've always been a huge fan of this movie. And that is Trick or Treat. A movie that I have always wanted to watch. And boy, Sam, the, the, the little sackhead kid or guy in this movie, is goes down as a horror icon. And I am such a huge horror fan. I loved almost every minute of this movie. Um, there were some moments where I was sitting there thinking... Um, oh, okay, I see where they're going with this setup, this concept, and uh, it's great, this, the movie that, what, what, the minute that works is, a really, is the fact that this movie jumps around to different stories, and they're all taking place at different times, but it works, and it works extremely well, um, the acting is pretty good, it's, it gets a little silly and corny at points, but I still love it, but it has its good bit of scares, um, and it's very, it's a really good way to do an anthology film and have it all tie in together. Because the only an other anthology film I've ever seen was, um, was, um, Creep Show 2. I haven't even seen the first Creep Show. I've only seen the first one. Uh, maybe I should review those. Um... But this movie is extremely well done, and it is definitely goes down as a horror classic. Um, every moment in this movie, you're sitting there enjoying 90% of what's going on with all the characters and the scenarios and the fact that, like, it's built, or, the whole thing is built around not disrespecting Halloween and just following Halloween traditions is really cool. I like that concept. Um, and each individual story has things that's... That's like, and there's even like some tiny ones that are squeezed in there that aren't the big ones. And it's really cool to see how things all intertwine in this movie. Uh, and there's not really anything to hate about this movie. Um, it's definitely one of the best anthology films I have ever seen. Um, and some of the twists, of, like this movie plays with your expectations. It goes on your basic horror tropes and turns them on their heads. Uh, especially with two of the stories, uh, the one with the teacher, the, 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 the dad and the son, and the one with the, uh, the, teenage, the teen, or teenage girls. Uh, it was really, and then I like how a lot of them had tie in together to have, even though they're separate stories, they tie in in little ways here and there. And that makes it really cool. I wonder if there's an edit of this uh, movie where uh, everything, it, or someone's edited this movie to where like everything takes place in the order and as it's happening with everything else. I wonder if that's been done with this movie. I really wonder that. I'd like to see that with this movie. I just I, like, I don't think it would make it better because I think it probably actually wouldn't be as good if it, they did that. But still, this movie is definitely something that really sat well with me. And most of the time, just all of it is so entertaining. And just there's nothing to really hate about what's going on in this film. It's fun. It's fun. It's got some funny moments. And it doesn't take itself too seriously all the time. But when it does take itself seriously, you're on enjoying it. Um, and freaking Sam with the sack off his head is like one of the best things I've ever seen. Well, I was at the Halloween store. Uh, I don't know if my vlog has gone up yet as of recording this. Um, vlog hasn't, but I, at the Halloween store, there was a statue of him. And if I had the money, I would so purchase that thing. Um, because it's freaking Sam and this freaking movie is just one of those great horror movies that I... I'm probably going to make my yearly tradition to watch every Halloween 
Uh, I'm glad I watched it around Halloween time this year. Um, even though I think we're all nearing very, like, the, we're like, I don't even know what the date is today. But the thing is, with Halloween, it's really freaking cool that I just enjoy all the aspects that this movie has to throw at us. Um, and it's really entertaining. And, like, some of the negatives, I think some of the acting is off and some of the little, some little parts are forgettable. But for the most part, this is, this is like really just something super cool that I really, really like. And it, it works in the film's favor with the whole jumping around and everything. And other movies, that wouldn't work. You wouldn't think that would work. And, and this, it does, especially with it being an anthology movie, but all the, the stories tie in. It's not like with Creep Show where none of them tie in together, but it's like the fact that these tie in together really, really works. And like every second I'm sitting there watching this movie um, and is enjoyable. And the kills are so freaking good. The freaking, the fact that uh, Sam uses a freaking lollipop that's bitten is so cool. And the thing is, I saw that at the freaking uh, Halloween store. I was going to buy it. I legit sat there and I was like, we got to buy that. I was going to, it was only 10 bucks and I wanted it so bad, but I didn't, which sucks. Like, it legit was like so cool. I was like, that's awesome. Um, and the fact that, that uh, it's just so cool. And I, I, it, it pains me to know that a lot of people probably don't know this movie. And, but the thing is, it's such a good movie. Everybody's stuck with the icons of horror now. Pennywise, Jason, Chucky, Freddy, Jigsaw, all that stuff. But the thing is, not a lot of people want to bring in new, new things. Because, like, this is very... I, this is, he's so iconic, and even though I don't know who he is. But the fact is, the fact that he has an animatronic and all that stuff. And, oh, it's just so good. And... The kid actors in this movie are pretty good. There's some kid actors in the movie. Um, there's some was like it's just there's some acting that's really just eh, but there's some scenes that's like really enjoyable. And there's like some s dumb scenes around like uh, it doesn't some it doesn't make sense at points. But then like oh like at the thing later it's like oh that makes sense now. Uh, the way things get tied in make a lot of sense and. It just works. Like, I don't know how else to say it. But this movie just freaking works. And I don't think I've seen a horror movie do the things that this one has done in such a good way. Like I said, I've only seen one other anthology movie, uh, or at least one other anthology horror movie. Um, and it, it just works. I love freaking these type of movies that just do something new or something original and not... Because, like, it has aspects of a monster movie, has aspects of a drama, has aspects of a slasher. It has aspects of all these movies, and it works so well. You, would, you wouldn't think that blending all that together would work, and there's little specks of comedy in there, which really work. Um, there are some times where the comedy doesn't work. It's really cringy. But most of the time, the movie is done so well. And the fact is that I love everything that happened in this movie. And for Pete's sake, I should have been, maybe should have been Sam for Halloween. I don't know, but I'm being Jason for Halloween. But that would have been, so my overall rating, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. I don't know what else to give it. This movie is really entertaining. Um, I love these types of movies. I love them. They're so freaking good. And it just fits so well. It's in the horror genre. And Sam, you have the official title of horror icon now. I don't care. I need to redo my. Up I need to update my horror icons top twelve because definitely you are on there. Because back then I put freaking. Uh, there's so many I left off that should have been put on there. Um, but, yeah, that's all I got to say for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
Uh, if you, if you, if you, have you seen Trick or Treat? Let me know down in the comments section below. I'd really love to know what you guys thought of this movie. This seems like one of those movies I would not have liked when I was younger. But now that I'm older, it's really, really a good movie. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys.